Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to show you a scenario that we recently solved and uh, uh, probably if you are running into same scenario uh, then you can basically see it and I try to give the relevant title as much as possible so that you will land on to the right video for your problem. Okay so I am uh, so the scenario that I want to show you is that we have the projects right and uh, in these projects we have the different employees into different location like employee number 101 is in Delhi employee number 102 is in Delhi but their cost centers are different C01 C25 if you see for employee for project number 2 we have employee 201 202 in Mumbai and their cost center is M01, M25. Same is for Chennai for third employee C01, C25. So what was C20? What is C25? C25 is a default cost center when any new employee joins, right? It will have a uh, basically a default cost center and then later it needs to be changed to the main cost center which is C01. So that is our situation that whomsoever is the latest employee in this case 102 202 302 is the latest employee the second employee in the projects uh, they should get the cost center of the previous the actual cost center and not the default cost center so this is generally a scenario in companies where the change happens and based on this change you have to make sure it should reflect correctly in your data so that is our pattern, right? And we want to solve this uh, change by uh, creating a new column into the data set, okay? So uh, over here, what I can do is, uh, I need to go into the table view. The same table is present over here, right? Make sure this table is selected and uh, you click on the new column. And this is a sample data uh, that I created. So you can simply screen, copy it from screen uh, if you want to practice it along with me so i create a new column and uh, in this column what we need to do is uh, first of all uh, we need to say new cost center or updated cost center right so our new cost center will be uh, we have to use the calculate function in this calculate we have to take the first non blank just to make sure that you know uh, first non blank uh, if anything is coming as blank, then we are taking it at zero. So what do we have is basically uh, the project. I'm oh, sorry, the cost center. Uh, we need to take the cost center, uh, cost center over here, and zero, right? Um, so that is our first non-blank value. And then what do we need to do is we have to then apply the filter condition because we have to filter it based on whomsoever is the latest employee is based on who was the previous employee so that is our minimum value and that is our maximum value because this is based on the number right that's how we have solved it in your scenario it may be a little bit different so me you may have to tweak it right so but i want to show you the concept over here so we need to provide the table which is 3s in this case right and we want to show we want to basically tell it that uh, this project the project name is basically or the project number is basically the earlier project number that is our first condition right and our next condition is that our employee id uh, our employee id is based on the minimum minimum uh, employee id so within the calculate function we are saying minimum employee id and we want to filter it based on the project again right uh, the previous project so this will be a project where are you 3s project equals to earlier 3s project i know it looks complex it is complex right that's why i'm showing you this scenario so what's going on again we want to get the cost center value so we have provided that in the first non-blank function just to make sure that it should not be applying uh, then we are filtering so in the calculate function we are filtering the data saying that we want to filter the 3s which is the third scenario and by the way what i mean by third scenario is in this so this is the workbook where i am having multiple scenarios 
and based on the scenario i create the table so this is a this is a third scenario so a table related to third scenario and if you want to get this workbook you can uh, get it based on the information given in the description so that you can get all of these calculation and previous scenario and you know in future if i put it the uh, future scenarios as well so we have the 3s and we are saying that based on the earlier project so if we are on this row number 2 it will say that this is based on this but that's not the case right because if we move on to 2 we don't want to get it from this one so that's why we are putting a m and condition and then we are saying that employee is equals to the minimum of employee and then we are filtering so we are putting two condition minimum employee and the relevant project for that and that is what's going on in the filtering condition over here so if i hit enter it should produce us a new column so now if you see for employee number 1 c01 employee number uh 102 from c25 it is now changed to c01 similarly for 201 and 202 this 301 and 302 this so that's how basically you can go ahead and uh, and do this operation right and uh, i know it it took us a time to basically figure out a solution and after a lot of back and forth but i hope in this 6 minutes you got this answer so make sure for scenarios like this you hit the subscribe button go through these scenarios these can be tricky and the scenario that you can receive in the interview as well so make sure you you have a grip on this and able to understand and articulate it and also modify it based on your own uh, needs and uh, situation with that thank you so much and i'll meet you in the next video the new topic